you guys. We'll give it a minute. We'll give it a minute. Just wait. Once you get in here, tell me if you can hear me. So, look at my Twitter. Huh, popping down so it's... It blocks the screen, screen when I get my Twitter updates. Like, I can't see anything. I can't see you guys. Okay, come on, get in here. What's up? What's up? What's up? Um, am I the only one that feels like they're living like in an alternative universe right now? Hey guys, what's up, Lorna? Hey. Hey, Joe. What's up? Hey guys. Hey, Justin. Canada, what's up? Negative 28, get out of here. What? That's crazy. Hey, Ken. Hey, Denise. Yeah, I, uh, I, I mean, I just recently saw Beto O'Rourke and Kristen, Kirsten Gillibrand or whatever she's running for president, um, say that they would be all for just like no, no barriers at all. No walls. Like I, we are, we are witnessing the Democrat party being completely infiltrated by globalists and socialists. And these people are anti-American, straight up anti-American. You cannot say that you love this country and not want to protect American citizens, period. You can't, it's impossible. So you don't come at us and tell us that you love America when you don't want to protect Americans. We saw Jim Acosta today asking President Trump like, oh, are you making up a face crisis at the border and stuff like that? And he said, ask the angel moms, okay? These people have lost their children. I would love, I would love for these Democrats, these Beto O'Rourke and his, what if you lost your child? I mean, how dare you? How dare you? It's not a manufactured crisis. And I'd also ask, like to ask, how many people have to die? Democrats, like how many? How many people have to be sex trafficked? How many little children have to be tied up, gagged, and sold into sex slavery for the rest of their life, living in literally hell for you to want to do something. How many parents have to lose a child to fentanyl and heroin overdose for you to do something? Just let me know. I mean, if you get a chance, just, you know, send me a message. What, 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 what's the quota? What's the quota? I'm, I'm just curious. Like at what point do we start doing something? At what point do we start to stand up for America? At what point do we start to protect American citizens? And don't come at me, you know, and also, this is not just Americans that we're talking about here, okay? The, most of these children that are sex tra trafficked are from South America and from Mexico and Central America, okay? My question, the question that we all need to be asking right now is why are Democrats opposing a declaration of, for, of a national emergency that's going to stop, at least cut down on sex trafficking, dr dr drug overdoses, murders. What, what, why are you opposing this? Why are we not, why are you opposing this? They're gonna take this to the Ninth Circuit. The, the, the judge there is gonna say, no, you can't do this, whatever. It's gonna go all the way up to the Supreme Court and at that point, it will rule in our favor because we have every right to protect our borders and protect, to protect American citizens. So the question needs to be, why? Do you really hate Trump that much? Do you hate Trump that much that you're willing to sacrifice children being sold into sex slavery? Do you hate the president that much that you're willing for your neighbor, hey, maybe even your child, to die from fentanyl or heroin overdose? Is your hate that strong? I just watched a video of a mom on her way in delivery having, this, uh, having a baby. They get to the hospital just to, uh, they don't get to the hospital because they are um, hit by a, uh, an illegal an illegal alien, um, and they're, they're, um, she, she then begins to miscarry the baby, um, and the baby dies one minute after birth. So this mom now has no baby, and I mean, I, I've had three babies. I know what it's like to carry a child. You grow with that child. You bond with that child, and to lose a child in that traumatic way, she would still have her child if she wasn't hit. This, I mean... 
Is that, I mean, at what point? That's what I'm asking. And I'd love for you guys to respond to me because I know I got a lot of liberal trolls on here, a lot of Democrats that absolutely hate me standing up for America and Americans. I'd like to ask what the hell has happened to the Democrat Party? You guys literally are now for a infanticide, late term abortion. You got a guy in Virginia that dressed up in blackface, or maybe he was the guy in the KKK uniform or a robe or whatever, and you're cool with that? Where was the and, and the and the silence on this Justin Justin Small uh, whatever Smolik guy? Literally staged an attack that he was attacked by a, a Trump supporter. I'd like to ask. Okay, first of all, Chicago is not Trump territory. Okay, it's not. It's like literally liberal infestation. That's why we see the, the murder rate that we see right now because nobody's allowed to carry a gun to defend themselves. Anyways, this guy is attacked in the middle of the night in sub-zero weather and they're yelling, this is MAGA country? I mean, the story here, immediately red flags go off, but we can't say anything. Can't say anything, so we have to be quiet and let this whole thing play out. And sadly, I've got people that I know that watch the mainstream media that probably saw this story and they were like, oh my gosh, those Trump supporters are so racist. Not true. Not true. Okay, the whole thing was a staged fake farce or whatever. I, I don't know how you could be a Democrat at this point. I don't. I don't know how you can actually sit and cheer that you're going to try to stop a, a declaration of a national emergency because you don't like the president. You're willing to let people die because of your hate. And let's just remember, Martin Luther King Jr. said, hate cannot drive out hate. You will lose if you are operating in hate. You will lose every single time. Hate does not win. It will not win in the end. You will be defeated. Only love. Only love. And you know what? I love this country. I love Americans. I love children. I love them so much that I don't want to see them sold into sex slavery and, and trafficked. I love people that I don't even know. I don't want them to lose their children from drug overdose or heroin overdose. I don't want to see another person murdered by a criminal that's come over here illegally and that's a, that's, that's a gang member. I love people. And I know that I'm operating in love. And the people that, that support me, the people that follow this page, that are supporters, they love this country too. And it's awesome to see a man for, for the, the first time in a long time take office that loves this country. He loves this country. I've got people, oh, he's in it for his own gain. How is he in it for his own gain? Do you know he's lost a billion dollars? Trump has lost a billion dollars since he's taken office. His family has been hit harder than any family I've ever seen. Attacked daily. The sacrifice that that man is making for our country is because of love. So, my main thing here today, right now, I want to say is you cannot tell me you love this country and you don't want to protect this country. Because when you love something, you protect it. I lock my doors every single night because I love my kids and I love my husband. I want to protect them. I want to make sure that they're safe. And if you love something, you protect it. It's that simple. It's that simple. So that's what I'm here to say. Oh, Cortez, yeah. She's been in the um, a news lately. I don't know if you guys saw my satire. The satire I recently did, uh, the sound was a little uh, so I understand it. It wasn't um, as big a hit, but that's okay. It was straight satire. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I, I play um, a Democrat on how to solve the uh, methane gas coming from cows. So um, 
It's more of the funny side of things. But, um, yeah. I mean, and, and the Democrats wanting to eliminate planes. And uh, this, is, this is also something I want to say. If you wanted to control a population, totally control them, have them operate in fear, you know what I would do? I would tell them that the planet is going to explode. In just a matter of time, it's all going to come to ruin. And I would tell them what kind of car to drive, what kind of food to eat, what kind of home to live in, how many children to have. And the only way to solve this would be to do what I said, because I know how to solve this problem. And that's what we're witnessing. I really do question the, the control, the... the because uh, just in the 70s, it was, we're going to have an Arctic freeze. It was, everything was going to freeze and we we're going to all be frozen. And then it was like, oh, this, you know, this, we're not seeing, really seeing that. So we're just going to go with, we're going to go with warming. It's warming. But then we start to see that the temperatures really aren't warming. So now it's just climate change. It's just this broad stroke of climate change in order to, in order to control you. So question everything. I think Cortez has actually been excellent for the Democrat Party because it's, ex it's, it's, ex it's totally exposed how far left these people have gone. They are socialist globalists. They are anti-American. They are anti-American because they don't want to protect Americans. Don't tell me, you can't be for America if you don't want to protect Americans. These people are anti-American. They're anti-Americans. Okay? So we are witnessing this party completely being taken over by a leftist, globalist, socialist regime that does not have America's best interests at heart. So, build the wall, yes. All right, climate change is natural, it is natural, yeah. And I also, I would love it. I, 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 these people that are, that are all about climate change and the world's gonna end, I know some of these people. They do not live like the world is going to end. Okay, they travel everywhere. They drive cars that guzzle gas. They live in big homes. So if, if you really are afraid, like if you really are afraid, go first. Live like you're just terrified. Please, please do. If you're terrified that the planet is going to end, then you need to dig a hole and live in it. Like, go back to that time. Go back to pre-everything and live like a caveman. If you're really that scared. I mean, I'm serious. Do it. You go first. That's the thing. These people never go first. I love Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez to go first. Somebody needs to tell her to go first. They're not going first. Question everything, guys. That's what I have to say. Question everything. Always question. Always question. Never, ever, ever take anything for face value. At all. Question it. So, I love your stuff. I love your stuff. Thanks, guys. I'm keeping it real. I try to keep it real. I do keep it real. Sometimes it's a little too real. And I gotta, I gotta smile. Because I just wanna... Ah, anyways, can I get a shout out? Yes, Ethan, what's up? Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Hey, Maria. Question with boldness. Yes, question with authority. Guys, we got to stop being knocked around. These people operate like they're like crazy. And, and they want to they fear and intimidate you. They want you to be quiet. They don't want you to talk. That's when you just say no, you know? And that's why this is, uh, and then this is when my faith comes into play because I totally rely on God for my protection. I totally rely on God um, for for everything and 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 for insight and wisdom and creativity. And I, I will not be be intimidated. I will not operate in fear. I will not be afraid. We have not been given a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. All right. You guys are, I love your comments. Some I cannot read out loud. Oh. Anyways. All right, you guys. The Catholic, um, yeah, the Catholic, the, those Covington children. I, I, God bless those boys. 
God bless them. Unbelievable. See the media, but the, I, I stopped believing the media years ago. Years ago. The to the, they, they, the, how, shame on them of how, how they treated those boys. Shame on them. Um, all right. Well, you guys, I'm going to sign off. Um, love you guys. So thankful for you. We are in this together. We are not alone. You're not alone. And I'm going to warn you right now, um, as this election starts to pick up and we start to move into the 2020 cycle, they're going to try to su suppress conservative voices. They're going to try to tell you that you're on your own. They're going to try to tell you that Trump supporters are not as strong anymore. They're just going to try to suppress us. They're going to try to make you think that Trump is running out of support. That is not true. That is a lie. So as they try to make us, you know, I mean, they, they've suppressed me on all social media outlets, but they're, they'll probably do it even more so in the next coming year. You're not alone. Um, I will still be here. I will still be speaking up and speaking out. Um, if you have to, to go out of your way to get to me, I'm here and I will keep speaking up and speaking out. So if I don't show up on your page, it doesn't mean I've disappeared or lost support um, for the president. And that's not going to happen. Um, all right, you guys. Have a great weekend. Love on your family. Love on your friends. And uh, we'll talk soon. Bye, guys.